And just before we leave St Mary the Virgin here in Banbury, one last little story. A couple of years ago, there was an electrical fault. The heating stopped working. It got so cold in there that the choir refused to practice anymore. They went on strike until the heating was fixed. Proof, if it was needed, that the system works. Now then, whether you're having underfloor heating or no, you're going to have to have some heat source in your new self-built house. If you're off gas, the odds are that that's going to be a heat pump. When you're fitting air source heat pumps, sometimes they go on the ground, sometimes they go on the wall, there are all sorts of accessories that you will need to make sure that it's installed properly and working to its absolute optimum. There's a company called Pump House, which now makes every little accoutrement you could possibly ask for to make sure that your heat pump works as it should. And we've been to meet them. When designing your new home, it's important to decide early on whether your heat pump will stand on the ground or be positioned on the wall like this one will be. The bracket sets come from Pump House, who specialise in providing all those useful bits and pieces you'll need for the installation to be safe, secure and efficient. Self-Builder TV's heat pump expert Mike Smith says proper planning and the use of specifically designed accessories like these can prevent a lot of heartache. Most of the problems are cited around the location of the heat pump, whether you're casting a concrete base, whether you're hanging it on a wall. Um, we've worked with Pump House for quite some time now, having fitted hundreds of heat pumps, um, to develop products that we can use and save A time, B money. If the heat pump isn't to go on the wall, choosing the best location and the right type of base are crucial. The bases are dependent on the site, so they, they would have to build such a variety of bases and mounting kits that it's really left to a third party to do. The problem with concrete slab is obviously you've got to be there two or three days as you said. To cast concrete you can't drill into it for two or three days. Um, often, particularly on a retro installation, you don't have the luxury of time. Um, so Pump House has developed a, well, in effect, a fiberglass base that looks like a concrete base which allows you to pre-assemble the heat pump to it and install it literally in a few minutes. I think one of, one of the challenges that most installers have had is actually casting concrete bases. I think we've heard from Mike about the, the problems and challenges with him that he's had with regards to casting the base, leaving it to dry. What this is a single solution, so you've got the anti-vibration feet, you've got a pre-constituted slab which is lightweight, that all, all installed together so it can sim simply be placed uh, anywhere on, around the property to suit the location of the heat pump. Now I suppose a lot of people don't realise that um, heat pumps do chuck out an awful lot of water, don't they? And, and you need to do something to accommodate that. Yeah, a heat pump will produce around 10 litres an hour during defrost of, of condensate. Um, so the, the actual disposal of that is important that it's, it's disposed of in the correct way, either down a drain or through into a soakway, uh, which is something else that we've, we've devised uh, in conjunction with a lot of the manufacturers where they see that as an issue, how do we get rid of the condensate? Um, so we've produced this as a, it's a, uh, a pre-bagged soak away, specifically sized for all of the heat pumps that are provided in the UK. It can take the, uh, the condensate from defrost uh, and it fits uh, underneath the heat pump in the ground. So how does it actually work? Uh, what, what we've got here is uh, basically um, some granules with voids between them and those voids are actually capture the condensate when it comes off the heat pump. So the heat pump will produce up to 10 litres in an hour. It, it surges straight into this bag and then it's allowed to release. The, the material that it's made of is, is a geotex material and it allows the condensate gradually to seep into the ground. So it holds the condensate and allows it to soak away rather than having big puddles on patios or, or floor, floorways which potentially could freeze uh, and ice up and have a hazard in the winter. And, and that will last as long as the heat, heat pump itself, will it? Yeah, it's designed, it's made out of renewable, uh, renewable materials. It's a pre-constituted rubber, um, so it'll sit in the ground for as long as the heat pump lasts. And the alternative, I suppose, as we've also seen, is, is the drip tray, isn't it? And, and presumably, the drip tray installation, you, you, the water comes off that potentially into a soakaway like this? Yeah, the, 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 the soakaway can be used either on wall-mounted solutions or on the floor-mounted option with a slab. Um, you can take the, the volume of condensate whichever way through the tray, you can pipe to the tray, and then what you do is you pipe through the, through the tray and into the inlet uh, position here. So either with the wall mount or floor mounting solution, it provides an adequate uh, uh, volume of condensate to be disposed of properly. 
Now, obviously, um, a heat pump's an expensive piece of kit, which we would rather didn't get bashed about too much. And if you've got kids playing football in the garden, you can just imagine that it might get hit on a few occasions. But you've got a solution for that as well, I see. Yeah, I think that there are a number of areas. One is, is, is in um, you know, uh, social housing, where you've got communal areas, which potentially the, the unit, as you quite rightly say, is, is quite an expensive piece of kit. Unlike a boiler, it's mounted outside. So there is potential for accidental damage or vandalism. Uh, so this is one of the panels that we, uh, we have. We have um, protective guards to suit all the different sizes and, uh, and shapes of heat pumps in the marketplace. Uh, but as you quite rightly say, um, in, in any garden, even in a domestic fo situation, football, domestic, residential, yeah. uh, a bike unit being pushed down onto it, uh, they are expensive pieces of kit and best to protect them. So we have that solution. Right. Now what about this conduit you've got here? What's this for? Right. What, with, uh, with all heat pumps, you have a, a flow and return pipe work, um, which is um, pipe work which is similar to, to, to this. It's protected with insulation. Um, that would run, if we have a, the hot water cylinder upstairs in a property, uh, we'd have to run the pipe work from the heat pump uh, through to the cylinder. Uh, this is a, a neat finish and also protects the pipe work and the, the insulation from being damaged. So it fits on the outside wall. We have a, a neat finish on here to, to prevent uh, water going back into the, uh, the trunk in, uh, which just finishes it off nicely into the uh, property. So that can be run in, in any lengths uh, required. Right. And I mean, you, you mentioned the insulation. Um, we've seen some pictures that you've shown us of, of installations where actually bits of the pipe work coming out of the heat pump are exposed and not properly insulated. And, and you sort of think, well, not a lot of point in that, is there? Because all you're doing is heating the air around it. Yeah, heat pumps are, are, are very uh, uh, clever uh, piece of kit, very energy efficient. Uh, what we've seen is, is the occasion where either the, the pipe work isn't insulated properly or there's little bits of it mis, uh, you know, misinsulated. Uh, we've, we've worked out some costings. An, an uninsulated heat pump could potentially cost the householder anything between 100 to 150 pound extra on their fuel bill. Uh, by adequately insulating, we're gradually saving um, cost of the running cost of the, the efficient piece of kit. So it's important. So that's, I mean, over the, the lifetime of a pump, I mean, how much could the insulation actually save them? Well, we, we've seen some installations without any insulation at all, uh, and that could be a thousand, two thousand pound over the lifetime of the unit. So it is uh, quite important. Not to be sniffed at. Not, to, absolutely. Yeah, and in fact, as they say, here's one, almost here's one you made earlier. So show us how this works. Well, this, this is uh, one of our uh, pre-insulated uh, flexible hoses. So I've got a, a stainless steel braid on here. Uh, we're pre-insulated with 19 mil insulation, uh, which we've shown is, uh, is, is very, very good in cold conditions, down to uh, sort of minus five. Uh, it give, gives adequate insulation and, and heat loss at that level. Uh, but if I show you on the back of this uh, e uh, piece of equipment how, uh, how we're seeing things and, and how we see uh, installations happening. Basically, the, the hose is, is tightened into the, uh, the, to the rear fitting. Uh, and what we're seeing is, is this, this type of installation where the insulation is not being pushed all the way to the back. There's a gap. But as you quite rightly say, you've got an area there that is heating the, the outside. Uh, with our hoses, we offer an extra length of insulation with, with them. So basically, the finishing touch is a completely installed piece of kit. Right. Right, okay. that's very good, very good, very impressive. So uh, finally then, uh, perhaps I could ask you if, if any of our viewers, any of our self-builders is planning on installing a heat pump and they're not sure which option to go for, I mean, are the people at Pump House happy to take a phone call and have people ask them about what they should do? Uh, absolutely, we, we've got matching sheets to cover all wall or floor standing options for all of the heat pumps uh, that are being supplied into the UK. So feel free to uh, put a call into our office the guys there, we've got uh, a number of guys on our sales desk. They'll be able to cross match the heat pump that you're looking to install and give you advice on the best, uh, best equipment. And if you're spending all that money installing a heat pump at your new self-build home, it seems pretty sensible to spend those extra few pounds on the right accessories to make sure it's working to its potential and has a long and effective life.